Hi guys, welcome to episode four of my What If Every Country Made an Empire. Any country, not every. So last time we had UAE, then we had Malaysia, and then Uganda. Now we're gonna do another country. So let's see what that other country is. I was just showing this wheel to my friend earlier, and it landed on Germany. Anyway, so we got Romania. Okay, okay. So how this works, we landed on Romania. I make a map circled on Romania, and all we have to do is just give them an empire. Now all of the empire the all the countries that I get are completely random and I will not include island nations, like very small island nations, so like Japan, Malaysia, New Zealand, Australia, Cuba, things like that I will. But like tiny ones, like literally everything in the Caribbean, um, and, like, mi micronations. Not, mic not, not like, actual micronations, but like very small ones, like Andorra, San Marino, Vatican. Um, I won't be doing those, because they'll be instantly cut. Now, obviously, we're getting rid of the fact that the UN and NATO and the EU exist, so we are just going to just do that. So, we are just going to isolate multiple countries. So I don't have to zoom in all the time. So, yeah, let's get right to it. Okay, guys, we are back. I have centered a map. So, we have a relative map of the Balkans. Um, I've also added in Ukraine and Turkey. Just so that it looks a bit nicer. And Romania is more centered. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get this rolling. So here's Romania. It is a country. The capital is Bucharest, not Budapest. I always get, con I always get confused. Lucky for me, in most, most maps of these countries, the cities are highlighted. The capitals are highlighted. I'm sorry, you. Here it is. Like, you can tell where the capital is. Right? Like, Ankara. Where is Ankara? There's Ankara. And then Istanbul is here. Mind my voice, I'm not feeling too good today. Um, anyway, so, Romania, attack. Who? Um, they're gonna start by attacking Moldova. So, yeah, that's gonna happen. I'm gonna color all of Romania's enemies in blue. Just so that it makes it easier to, oh, well, what's the word? Uh, identify. Yeah. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna color this. We're just gonna randomly color frog is blue. Just so that the enemy color doesn't go away. So Romania has declared war on Moldova and ignoring the fact that any sorts of alliances exist. They go in and they take this land, including Transnistria, which is a very controversial piece of land. And they are able to surrender. They they do eventually force Moldova to surrender. And that is what they do. Very simple, very easy. Um. This gets Ukraine involved because Ukraine is like, okay, you are kind of worrying me. So I'm, so Ukraine is going to make the foolish decision to declare war on, on Romania themselves. And in these videos, you do never want, you, if, unless you're the target, you're, you should not be the aggressor. Um, Immediately, all these lands are taken. Oh, um, so all this is taken, and they take whatever Odessa. They take Lviv, if, if what, however you pronounce it, and they take all this land, and they take Kiev, but not Kiev City. That would be a very hard place. They also send some ships 
And they've also sided with Russia, which is kind of why Ukraine is failing here. If Ukraine didn't side, if they weren't in the middle of a war with Russia, they this would not be going well for them. So the siege of Kiev city is complete, and it kills a lot of people, which is sad. Uh, Ukraine has fallen and split to Romania. It's give and completely annexed into Romania. Actually, you know what? I'm going to kill parts of it to Russia. I'll just color Russia in green. So, nothing's happening. Okay, there you go. So, all of this is going to be given to Russia, including Crimea. So, we're just going to call this Russia. And I'm going to expand the map a little bit. Now that Romania has gained territory, I think I'm going to expand the map so that they have the possibility to attack north. So, just give me one second. Alrighty, I'm back. Um, I am back. I have changed Romania's color to blue. Just blue. Uh, and the enemy will be red now. So, this is because then, if I'm now I'm able to bring in border disputes, because I have this. Which is good. Anyway, next, now, um, they're going to go for... They, their plans are to expand west and to make more of a circle. So their plans for now are Hungary and Slovakia. So Hungary uh, Hungary is first to go. But since Hungary is pretty big, they convinced some other people to join in the fight, like such as Croatia. Croatia will become enemy. Croatia is now on bad team. Serbia is going to be on the bad team. Or Serbia. Um, Hungary, I forgot to color in Hungary itself. Serbia is going to join in on the red team. And so will Slovakia. Which is... So that's big. So look at that. We have a huge war. Roma the first Romanian coalition. And I say first because I think there might be another one. So um, let's see what happens. So we got that man here. So Romania starts sending troops into whatever that place is. They start sending troops into Serbia. And are able to take this. Bulgaria somehow also joined into the war. As an enemy. Um, so. Yeah it's basically just a coalition against Romania. Um, where is Bulgaria? There's Bulgaria. Okay. Bulgaria is set as. Okay. Romania claims the entire country of Bulgaria for some reason. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so Bulgaria somehow joins up, ends up joining in on the enemy side. So Romania starts making sending troops, and Bulgaria also makes the push, but Romania takes it back. They make a front line. And conquer Pest. And they're about to take Budapest. And they do. And Hungary. And Hungary is given completely to Romania. Bulgaria. They also end up meeting at Sofia. Ro the Romanians also end up making a landing in Sofia. And Bulgaria is also forced to secede. Not to see, but become the hunger to to become Romania. So that's cool. Um, back in Serbia, there are. It seems like they've taken Belgrade, but I'm not one hundred percent. 
maybe. But let's just say Serbia surrenders. Um, Kosovo is completely given independence just because I think that if Serbia were to surrender, parts of the peace treaty would be so that's Kosovo be completely independent. Um, Slovakia is taken easily by force. Um, the Serbian Republic is a very Serbian Republic, um, province of Bosnia and Herzegovina, this place, and that are taken. Croatia falls. They take Zagreb. Where's Zagreb? There's Zagreb. They take Zagreb city. Croatia falls. And so does Bosnia Herzegovina. Czechia also gets up put into the war. So they easily take Czechia. Um and yeah, this is this is very big. So the enemy color is now gone, so I have to replace it again. But yeah, this is a new Romania. And it's looking more like Austria Hungary than Romania. But the capital is still Bucharest, not Budapest, which is renamed to Hungaria. Just because Bucharest and Budapest are too confusing. Anyway, who's next? Poland. Um somebody's been having some troubles. It's the British. They want stuff. So they make a deal that they'll split Poland. So Let's just color the Brits in this yellow. So the Brits make a landing in West Pomeranian and take all this. And because of their promise, yeah, and due to their promise, they, they take they take all this land. Um whoops, whoopsies. Um so they take all this and the rest is given to Romania as a split. But then Romania backstabs them and takes the entire country, but not with ease. The British forces are easily pushed back and they agree to not do that ever again. Um so yeah. Um okay so now there's not that many neutral countries left. And Romania's goal is to take over the Balkans. And its only ones left are the are Albania, Montenegro, and Kosovo. Those are really the main threats. So you guessed it. It's going. It's war time, baby. All of these countries, they are going to become public enemy number one. They are going to die. They are now dead. I accidentally put Macedonia instead of Montenegro, but that's okay. Um. Montenegro joins in the war, and now we have the second Romanian co, the second coalition, the second Romanian coalition. So, Romanians, the Romanians start making a troop troops into northern Kosovo, and are actually relatively, relatively easily captured for Siena, Kosovo falls. Same thing happens to Montenegro. Albania, however, is more. Um, what's the word? Determined. And they make a push into it, but nothing happens. And they declare that even if they took the capital there, they will never surrender. And if they never surrender, that means you have to take them by force. That's a lot of work. Macedonia is easily op occupied, and Albania, just with this tiny strip of land, summons the ultimate god and just... Claims all this land, and then it gets undone again. Greece is also dragged into the war, just because, you know, we gotta have Greece in here. And Greece poses more of a threat. Because, wow, shocking twist, Greece and Turkey are going to work together to stop an even bigger force. Um... So, so the Grecians and the Turkish are going to stop. And Austria as well. They'll join in. So the second coalition is over. And then the third coalition starts two months later. So Slovenia and Austria as well. 
Lavinia and Astria. Um. So yeah, it's not looking too good. And matter of fact, the Brits also join in on this war because they feel like Romania is getting too big. So let's see what happens. Holy crap! Britain is destroying them. Poland is taken. They cap. They capture Prague, they capture Kiev, they capture Kiev City, they capture um, they capture Budapest, and they meet with Austria. So that's cool. Um for then, not for Romania. Um Greece and Turkey launch a oop okay, um I'm going to plug in my computer because it's going to die. Um, it's not heavy. Um, Greece and Turkey are going to launch a massive invasion of Bulgaria, restoring it, and it works. Bulgaria, and it also works for Macedonia. Macedonia, Bulgaria, and Macedonia are uh, are liberated by the red team, and. They join the coalition, but then they get re-liberated, and then they get unliberated and re-liberated and unliberated and re-liberated and unliberated and re-liberated. Um, and you can tell, you know exactly where this is going. So, yeah, until eventually they just decide to split Bulgaria, just for the sake of time. So you got that. You got South Bulgaria now fighting so russia decides actually i'm going to join the war as well uh this is not looking too good for romania russia captures all of ukraine with the brits handing it to them for the sole purpose of this war um let me be frank this is not permanent after the war ukraine will be restored Czechia and Slovakia form new Czechoslovakia, um, who are enemy, and then Romania uses ultimate power and completely undoes it all. Russia is no longer their enemy. Um, the only thing that stays is Britain conquering Poland. That's the only thing that they can't reverse. And the Brits, the Austrians, the Slovenians, the Grecians, the Greeks, and the Turkish, their main spot is over here. In Danilograd, Dalinovgrad. So they meet in Dalinovgrad and they capture the city. And from there, they capture Montenegro and Bosnia and everything. Look at that. Rebellions everywhere. Everyone's rebelling. And a lot of rebellions just so happen to be in this little place. It's a relatively small city. It's kind of, it's kind of called Bucharest. So. Bucharest has huge rebellions, and Romania is forced to move their capital to Budapest because it's the best, it's the next best thing. And I'm just kidding, they put down the rebellions, but then they have more in Budapest and also some in Kiev and some in Prague and Bratislava, which is somewhere here. Um, where is Bratislava? I think it's over there. Um, and some, and also some in Zagreb and basically every big city. Sarajevo, Sarajevo, no, Sarajevo, this and that, this and that. Nobody is safe. The re the, the Anamayakal revolution spawn everywhere. I don't know what that word is, but let's say it's a new ideology. Edamania, that's, that's it, the new ideology. Um, so that's taking a heavy toll on Romania. But don't forget, while they're fighting themselves on the inside they're still fighting greece and turkey and stuff on the outside greece and turkey remake south bulgaria and they liberate albania and macedonia and a bit of serbia too um slovenia launches an attack into there and takes it and take over croatia And Bosnia, and all this land, and it's and Austria gets some too. Austria gets some land of Hungary, 
But they leave Budapest because Budapest is hard to take. Um, so, yeah, this isn't looking too good. But the Romanians pull their bam, Uno, whoever it's called. And they just completely undo everything that Slovenia has done. But Slovenia does raise a lot of propaganda that basically says, you don't want to be friend. You don't want to be in control of these kiddos now, do you? And it worked. Sarajevo is hit with another, with another catastrophic ultimate. Oh no, bad, very very bad, um, rebellion. Um, Bosnia and Herzegovina is declared independent and has. Become the second republic, the second Bosnia Herzegovina, Herzegovina, um, and they meet with Greece, who occu- who have occupied Montenegro and Kosovo. So that's cool. Romania, however, has something to say about that. Brrr. They they liberate Bosnia, they take and they're retaking Bulgaria. They take Bulgaria. And put it back to its old borders. So how are the Brits doing? Um, brrr, oh, wrong one. But anyway, everything here is getting destroyed. The Brits are taking everything. It's all madness. Um, so the Romanians decide to use a strategy that they call um being annoying. They make their troops do the most annoying noises while fighting, which causes people the soldiers on the other team to straight up leave the battle and it works the british british armies are sent all the way back to poland with a few exceptions staying in slovakia and ukraine but then they completely then they completely liberate slovenia and austria well not completely there's still a bit of austria that still needs to be liberated and they get it so um, they liberate Ukraine. Poland is sent back into Poland. Um, Greece. So this place with the longest name I've ever seen, and is taken. Thessaloniki or whatever the the city is called. It's renamed to New. It's re. It's going to be renamed to New Bucharest because it's a big city. Athens will stay Athens. Crete, Crete is fine. Some Turkish islands. And mainland Turkey starts getting invaded. They take Istanbul, severely dropping the economy in Turkey. Um, and they are very close to taking Ankara. Speaking of, Ankara has been taken. With a simple route going from here, all of Ankara is taken. And Turkey is forced to surrender. But not everyone. This little area right here declares the Republic of... Se- this place called... Re- Call this place it over here, Hakkadi. It declares the Republic of Hakkadi, and you know what? Some other places do it too, like Yozgat. Yozgat is now its independent country. Um, and turns out they're just rebellions because they're easily suppressed. Um, the Poles are f- the Russia finally joins in the war to get destroyed, and then Russia, um, what's the word, backs out. The British occupied Poland is no longer British occupied, and Poland is now just Poland. It doesn't need to do anything. It's fine. So our only country left now is Romania. That's the only country that's marked on the map. Now, we might do one more little thing. Rebellions. See, what I forgot to mention is that certain people might not be happy um, and certain people include half the Ukraine, most of Turkey, with a few exceptions who are fine with it. Um, the entire, the entire former, almost all of former Yugoslavia, Austria, the Czechoslovakia, and Greece. All of these little gray areas are high spots of rebellion, including Bucharest, who are getting tired of all this colonialism, and the rebels phone form their own special republic with with some help from with some help from from their from themselves because they don't have any help they're rebels um they declare 
the Republic of of Romanian rebels. No, not Romanian rebels. They declare the Republic of um new um we'll call we'll call it Chad Chad Romania Chad Romania. No Chatter Chatter Romania. Not to be confused with the country Chad, who actually has the exact same flag. Like, oh my God, could you think of something more boring and similar? Not to judge the flags, though. They are pretty good. So all of this, that's now Rebels. That's Shatter Romania. And this is going to be our final war, just because I want to end this video, because my videos are getting too long, and I don't think people are going to watch them that much. Um, so the rebels take Kiev and Kiev city and capture Ukraine. Um, they capture all of Ukraine and they capture all of Turkey and a bit of Greece as well. Um, they capture the island of Greeks of Crete, um, and actually fully take Greece. Um, and they want to meet with their Ukrainian exclave. So they take all this land over here. And now they are getting very close to the capital. Um, so what does Romania do about this? Nothing, because they're fight because they're fighting themselves. They can't do it. What can I say? Um so Romania is actually able to push back the reb the rebels, but they still have they still have all of Turkey and all of Ukraine and a bit of Greece. So who, buddy, buddy, old pal? That's not looking too good for Romania. Will this be our first fallen empire? Let me know. Well, don't. Um, Moldova is taken. Parts of it anyway. Um, Transnistria is given independence and is formally recognized. Um, and they march their invasion of just sparking rebellions. Um, including a huge one in Bucharest, and Romania is, and the Romanian government falls, and Romania is gone. They do, they do one more offensive in Poland, but at this point they don't care. They also take half of Belarus, and they leave. Actually, they take all of Belarus and Lithuania very easily just to give the thing a little more balance. This is the first time, I think, that I've given a country entirely country-like borders, so there's no new relative borders. It's just a bunch of countries merged. Um, so yeah, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. I tried to make it a bit shorter. Hope you enjoyed, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.